वेलकम टू जोलॉजिस्ट मोस्ट एंड यूट्यूब चैनल अप्लीस फॉर टू द पॉइंट बायोलॉजी जोलॉजी लर्निंग एज वेल एज प्रिपरेशन टूडेज पैकेज इनकलूड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्ट्रक्चर इज प्रेजेंट इन योर ओरल कैविटी देन टाइप्स ऑफ डेंटिशन टाइप्स ऑफ टीथ प्रेजेंट इन योर ओरल कैविटी देन वट इज सलाइवा देन वट आर मेजर स्लेवरी ग्लैंड एंड देन एट लास्ट वी शेल डिस्कस सम माइनर स्लेवरी ग्लैंड today's package is very important for you to learn for exams as well as your information let's kick here is the diagram of oral cavity of humans now we shall label some structures to learn about them the first structure is the hard palate you can feel the hard palate in your mouth by touching with your finger then the midline present in the upper side of the palate is called as palatine rafe and behind the palatine rafe there is a soft palate which you can feel soft with the help of your finger then the structures hanging behind the mouth is called as ovula similarly behind ovula palato pharyngeal arch is present uh, and when you will speak while opening your mouth this palato pharyngeal arch is uh, visible then uh, along little sides of the ovula there are two tonsils uh, present uh, these are also called as maxillary tonsils then uh, uh, typically a tongue and uh, down side of the tongue uh, there is a line which is uh, connecting uh, tongue to the base of the mouth and that is called as lingual frenulum there are other types of frenulums also present in the mouth and uh, lastly duct of submandibular gland uh, which is uh, used to secrete saliva inside of the mouth so these are the major important structures in your oral cavity now let's have a look at human dentition or your dentition the first type of teeth present uh, in front are called incisors we shall uh, focus uh, both jaws at once so the four teeth on upper jaw and the four on the lower jaw in front are incisors and the number is uh, 4 plus 4 mean 8 the second uh, type of teeth are canines two canines on upper jaw and two canines on the lower jaw uh in behind uh, incisors you can see uh, they are four in number two in upper and two in lower and uh, the next two uh, canines are premolars premolars uh, four premolars uh, two on each side uh, there are total eight premolars in the uh, human dentition next ones are molars uh, three on each quadrant and total of 12 molar teeth are present in the human mouth so the total teeth are 32 incisors 8 canines 4 premolars 8 and molars 12 uh, now baby teeth or milk teeth are 20 in humans remember that two molars and eight premolars are absent in babies these 12 teeth two molars and eight premolars are absent in babies similarly secondary dentition completely appears usually at the age of 21 in adults incisors canines have single root while maxillary first premolar maxillary mean upper side maxillary first premolar have two and rest have single root maxillary first molar has uh, three roots while rest have two roots third molars are called wisdom teeth and wisdom teeth are absent in some humans you can say few humans as well what is saliva saliva is consisted of mainly three components serous fluid mucus and water what is serous fluid serous fluid contain amylase enzyme and is secreted by parotid and submandibular glands what is mucus mucus is consisted of a glycoprotein the mucin lysozymes immunoglobulins and water all these uh, chemicals collectively make mucus it provide lubrication antiseptic features against bacteria viruses and fungi about 1 liter saliva is secreted daily in the body in various places 
Acetylcholine is the major stimulant for saliva. It's important for exams. Now, types of major salivary glands. First one is parotid gland. Second is submandibular gland. And the third one is sublingual gland. Let's have a look on each type in a comparative approach. Parotid gland present near the ear. Largest salivary gland make serous fluid only mean it don't make mucus so mucus cells are absent serous cells are pyramidal in shape active only on stimulus not active usually or regularly make 50 percent saliva when stimulated in a total saliva present in the mouth uh, comes 50 percent from parotid glands when there is activation or stimulation you through food or some other stimulant Second type is a submandibular gland present under the chin bone, the mandible, that's why the name. Smaller than parotid mixed gland produce both serous and mucus. U shape in appearance. They secrete 65 to 70 percent of saliva regularly without any stimulation in the mouth. So the total saliva without stimulation in the mouth is 65 to 70 percent from submandibular gland then the third one is sublingual present under the tongue smallest major salivary gland produce mucus only now remember that parotid only serous submandibular mix sublingual only mucus mucus cells are usually cube shaped they secrete 5% of saliva as you know they are very small in size so this uh, comparative approach will help you to learn for exams the differences and the uh, comparison structures present in all the three major salivary glands now let's have a look at minor salivary glands 800 to 1000 minor salivary glands are present all around the oral cavity they are usually 1 to 2 millimeter in size they secrete mucus for lubrication of oral lining and don't secrete serous fluids another very important name to remember is von Ebner's glands they are present on dorsal surface of tongue and secrete only serous fluids they also help in detection of taste their secretion bath taste buds and help to dissolve food particles for taste detection this uh, a question I have seen many times in the past papers von Ebner's gland so remember it that's it for today now read what this guy is writing on the boat please follow the instructions thanks